All right, Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading here. This is a random love reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. General reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but if you if the title brought drawed you in here, the title drawed you in here. If the title brought you in, there's probably something in here for you to see. Maybe even just one card that helps you out a little bit. It's a timeless reading, so even if you find it a couple of years from now, you you found it when you were meant to find it. Energies are cyclical, so they go around and around and around. At the moment I'm uh, pulling this reading, it's February 2021, so. Here we are sitting here in a retrograde with a bunch of planets in Aquarius right now. Doing a reading for Scorpio, which I was compelled to do today. I, I, these random readings I just do, you know, they're very random. I don't do them in sign order or anything. Just on a daily basis, I uh, go through and kind of figure out what sign is calling to me for the day, what, what energies are calling to me. Just did a reading for Cancer, so if you got Cancer in your chart, you check that out. Sure, fellow water sign there. If you hear any banging in the background, we're having some construction done. I apologize. Let's cut the deck and let's see where we go with this here, Scorpio. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just uh, do this here. We're gonna do the person's energy, how the person feels, how they feel about you, what you need to know, and a final outcome. And we're gonna throw some clarifiers over the whole thing and, and some universe cards on top just to uh, give us some more answers. Let's see where we go, Scorpio. Uh, the energy around your person right now in general is the Seven of Swords. How they feel is the Two of uh, Wands. Uh, how they see you or feel about you or see you is judgment. Um, what you need to know right now is the uh, Seven of Wands. And the final outcome is the chariot, which uh, you probably should watch that Cancer reading because that's the exact position that Cancer got the chariot in. All right, so keep that in mind, Scorpio. There might be something in that reading for you as well. Uh, I don't see the same energy here. This obviously isn't, uh, as far as the, the way it's playing out, I think it's probably, if, if it does match up with you, it's probably a different angle on the same energy. Uh, but I'm not seeing the same play out here. Uh, let's, let's see where we're going here. Uh, this person here with the energy sees you sort of uh, walking away, um, and uh, they can't stand that. It's driving them absolutely bonkers, and they want to come rushing towards you. That's what these cards tell me right here as far as the baseline energy of this. Now, we're going to pull some clarifiers. I just need to give the deck a couple more little shuffles here, and uh, we're going to cut the deck for the clarifiers. And let's see where we go. Scorpio. All right, Seven of Swords is clarified by the hanged man and uh, the sad horsey, the uh, five of cops. Yeah, um, they know they screwed up in the past. Uh, they've got a completely different opinion. They know they screwed up in the past, seven of swords. They self deceptive they, they self-sabotage this whole thing. Uh, the hanged man, they've got a, they're in a dark night of the soul or were, this can be a past position. So they were in a dark night of the soul, may just be coming out of it. But now, as they come out of that dark night of the soul, they're sad. They're feeling out, left out in the cold. They're like, Scorpio's walking away. I think Scorpio's leaving. And it's driving them absolutely bonkers. Exactly what I said. I love it when the clarifiers back up what I say. Uh, two of Wands clarified by strength. You might be dealing with a Leo uh, or someone with fire in their chart, for sure. And the Moon. Two major arcana cards backing up the uh, Two of Wands here. Uh, for how they feel. Uh, they're trying to get up the courage to come towards you because you're walking away. It's really simple. They're watching you. They're, they're looking out. They're weighing up their options, trying to get the courage up to come towards you. But this is also a card of lust, uh, the strength card. It's how a lot of the gypsy readers read it as well. Um, it's a card of lust. Um, it's, uh, so they're definitely lusting after you. Uh, but there's some unknowns here. You know, the moon, there's a lot of stuff hidden. They don't know if you're walking away or if you're there or, or whatever. The moon can also be a card of regret uh, on some level. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, again, we're seeing the same types of energies that we saw in your, in your Valentine's reading in particular. Um, same types of readings that this, this person really... But now this person... Versus the Valentine reading, which you should watch if you haven't watched it, because it'll, you'll get more information. Um, this person is uh, is in a panic right now. They're freaking out. Okay, and that's why I think you should watch the Cancer reading because it's a really 
a one in 400,000 coincidence with a shuffled deck that this is going to show up right here. Actually, a little less than that, but it's close enough odd. It's like 370 something thousand uh, that this is going to show up right here. Uh, so this is a sign from the universe that Scorpio should also check out the Cancer reading because um, I think that's going to help you out a little bit. You might as well get all the information you can, even if it doesn't resonate with you. You know, maybe there's something, there's one card. You know what I'm saying? Judgment. Uh, that's how they see you. The lovers, clarified by the lovers. And the ten of swords, what did I say? They see you walking away. They, they see you thinking it's over. It, you're done. You are done, Scorpio. Uh, but this is a twin flame connection. This is the same powerful connection in this position this is a twin flame card. Cancer got the card here where the sad horsey is. In that position, it's a twin flame card. Okay, so uh, really, again, we've got, uh, we've got some similarities here, but they see you as done, okay? Um, and uh, wow, uh, they want a second chance with you. Uh, that's what the judgment card is screaming, all right? Let's check out uh, what you need to know, this seven of wands. Yeah, the four of cups and the uh, queen of cups. Yeah, they want to offer you a cup. This is really easy. They want to offer you a cup of love, um, and they're not sure if you're going to take it. Um, they think you're going to be, they, they think you you may have blocked them. This, this can be a card of blocking, the Seven of Wands. It can be a card of blocking. Uh, but either way, uh, they feel like you're going to be very defensive towards them, and they're not sure whether you're going to take the cup that they're offering you or not. Uh, but they want to come in as the, um, as the Queen of Cups. They want to come in and offer you a serious, serious offer. Let's take a look at this chariot here. Clarify the chariot for me. The two of cups. Wow. And the five of swords. So they want to, they don't want to fight. They want you two to come together. This is a powerful connection. Two of cups and lovers in the same reading. Anyone's reading. My reading, anyone's. Powerful connection. Uh, and the two of cups in this position for the final outcome, they are, they are hell-bent on coming together with you, Scorpio. They are hell-bent and they're coming fast. The chariot, uh, they want to take control here. This is a card of control, okay? Uh, and they want to take control here. It's also a card of communication, uh, for sure. Um, they, they want you two to come together and they don't want to fight. Five of Swords can be viewed a lot of different ways. Some readers see it as self-deception and in some positions it is. In this position, in the final outcome, it's they don't want to fight. They want to lay down arms, and just, I don't want to fight with you. I just want us to come together. Why can't we be friends kind of thing? You know, that old song, why can't we be friends? You know, that thing. Something like that. Uh, they're coming fast because uh, they think you're they think you're done. They think this is done. Uh, and uh, they're going to they're going to take they're going to take a whack at it, Scorpio. Uh, there's that construction I was warning you about. Sorry about any noise in the background again. I, I apologize. Uh, but I didn't want to not do readings because a couple of guys got hammers upstairs and they're banging on carpets, you know. Um, I'm going to pull some cards, some universe cards over the top. We're going to let the universe tell us about this connection. Just whatever it wants to tell us. And I'll read the energies around the cards and give you the information. Basically how it works. I guess that's my job. So uh, we're going to cut the deck for the universe cards. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Scorpio, let's see where we go. Let's see what the universe has to say. Yet yeah, they're all up in their head. What did I say? Uh, eight of swords. Um, they're stuck in this cocoon here. It's the prison of the mind. They're all up in their head about this. This is they're, they're like, oh my God, Scorpio's leaving. Ten of, this ten of swords is freaking them out. Freaking them out. Maybe you did it on purpose. I don't know. Scorpios are very clever. Uh, maybe you did it on purpose. I don't know. Six of Cups, they're thinking about you. Again, thinking about you. Again, a soulmate card. We got three soulmate, the three biggest soulmate cards in, in, in one reading. Uh, this is a powerful connection, Scorpio. This is the same, a similar connection. It's got to be the same energy that's in the Cancer reading. It's got to be. Is, I wonder if, you're, if you and Cancer, here's my thinking. Whether you have Cancer in your chart or not, when I look at the energy, I get a, 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 an energy signature. It's sort of like a flavor. It's like you know what you're eating. If I gave you, if I blindfolded you and I gave you peanut butter, you'd know it's peanut butter kind of a thing. So this is peanut butter, okay? This is Cancer's peanut butter. This is the same person. I wonder if, if, the, if the person uh, that both you and Cancer are dealing with is a fire sign with Scorpio somewhere in their chart. 
So what's probably happening is you, you're both dealing with, with the same, not the same person, but a person who has fire and Scorpio specifically in their chart. Um, I get a lot of Leo on the Cancer reading. So if you're dealing with a Leo with Scorpio in their chart, then yeah, you probably should watch that other reading and get some more info. Yeah, th this person is, is, is reminiscing. They're thinking about you. They're, you know, again, they're all up in their head. Uh, yeah, they're confused. The Seven of Cops. They're also worried again that you're 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 out you're out seeing other people. You have choices. You have options, Scorpio. Um, five of Pentacles. They feel like they're out again. They feel like they're out in the cold. This is the five the five of Cups over here is them sad. This is the sad horsey card. I call it here. This is the sad rose card. So you got the sad horse and the sad rose. They are really really and incidentally, uh, this right here both of these technically are cards of regret but this is a, a lot of regret here in the five of cups so they have a lot of regret that ties in with your valentine's reading where i think your person had some regret i'm going to give the deck a quick shuffle here we'll, we'll throw a few more of these maybe we can get some information we don't already know universe how about that how about information we do give us something on this person universe tell us what this person's going to do or how they're going to do it or give me something give me something to work with here all right, card of communication, that's the six of wands. We got transformation coming here. We got the butterfly, it's a little transformation. That's card of victory. Uh, they want victory with you. They're definitely coming in. Uh, I'd say six days, six weeks. I'm going to go with sometime in the next, oh, I don't know. Uh, we have to be very loose with this. I think six weeks is too far out. I think six days is more likely. But, you know, again, it's a general reading. It's going to vary. Uh, this person is scared that you're gone. So when people are scared, you know, the universe may count coming in as them typing the message but not hitting send. You know, that's them coming in, sort of, kind of, or making an attempt. They're going to make an attempt to come in within the next week, okay? But whether or not they do, they've got to get over this fact that, that they're scared to death that you're gone. Let's pull a couple more cards just to see here. Hermit. Again, they're in the dark night of the soul, but this little light on this hermit card here, that's, that, that's you. You're their lighthouse in the storm. You're their little beacon. You're what they're thinking about, okay? And the queen of swords. So when they do come in, they're, they're not going to reveal everything. They're going to be very cautious, very standoffish. They're not going to reveal. They're not just going to dump out their emotions to you, Scorpio. So keep that in mind. Keep, keep in mind that there's a lot going on behind the scenes in their emotions that they're not revealing to you and try not to hold it against them too much if they do get up the courage to come in if you want to hear from this person and they get up the courage to come in that they're going to be a little bit you know a little bit cold not terribly cold but again they're not looking for a fight they want to lay down arms they want to end the fighting and uh yeah they're definitely coming they're definitely coming at some point here in the very, 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 very near future. Again, I think six weeks is too far out. I think sometime in February, I'll tell you the same thing I told Cancer just, just 5, 15, 20 minutes ago, whatever it was when I finished their reading. Uh, sometime in February, I would guess, before spring. So, again, with a general reading, I can't be more precise than that because, you know, I can't please everybody. So, but we readers try to. Uh, and you, you see it all the time on other channels, you know, we try to please everyone, well, you know, if, if, you know we got so many different readers or, or uh, watchers that, you know. Uh, the Fool card is what that is, in case you were wondering, that's them coming forward, that's them taking a leap of faith, which is basically what they have to do, Scorpio, because uh, they want this to have a second chance with the Judgment card, but they think you're out. So they, they need to take a leap of faith because they're very sad and very regretful. Uh, but on the, on the good news side, Scorpio, they don't want to fight with you. So they're not going to come in and pick a fight. In spite of this Queen of Swords who can sometimes pick a fight, they're not going to come in and pick a fight. They're just not going to reveal all of their emotions to you, okay? They're going to they're gonna take more of a, well, if they're out, I don't want to make an ass of myself sort of thing. And, and that's understandable. I think if you put yourself in their shoes, you could understand that. If you thought somebody was out, but you wanted to approach them, uh, you don't want to just unload your feelings because you might make an ass out of yourself. All uh, right. All right, there we go. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 
Uh, I've got a lot of readings going up. I do these random readings all the time. We've got the monthlies and mid-monthlies that I do for the star signs. So, Scorpio, I hope this helps. And again, um, I would check out that Cancer reading. And if you haven't seen my Valentine's reading for you, I would watch that as well. Get all the information you can. Check out your moon and rising signs and Venus signs as well. <clears throat> Thanks, Scorpio. I'm losing my voice here. I think I'm about done for the day. Mm -hmm.